Well, here's the easy answer. Your customer's your biggest asset for the organization. It produces the income and asset value ongoing. When we measure customer relationships and monetize them, the 30% of strong relationships tends to represent about 65% of the asset value of the organization. Powerful. So why measure? One, as a scorecard of those absolutely vital relationships. Your management team and board needs to look forward not backwards by using simply financial measures, but forward in terms of what's the strength and health of our customer relationships. Second, it's a diagnostic tool. If we agree that customer relationships are so powerful, let's look at issues that are emerging that could become problems and threaten that customer relationship. Are we breaking our delivery promises? Our competitors making changes? Does the customer have new expectations? Those things constantly emerge and change. What are they? Let's detect them and address them before they become serious problems and threats. Third, let's use it proactively as well. Let's look for ways we can expand and enhance our customer relationships, thereby changing behaviors, generating more revenue and asset value. Okay, so why not do it? Here are some of the things we hear. One, well, our sales force gives us a sense of customer relationships. You, you know they do and they should, but it's not the same. You need a holistic view of this customer relationship. Recently, I went in to the top 10 customers of one of our clients. I visited them on site. Top 10. They were getting unique sales help, dedicated. I left to call the client and say three of these relationships are broken and really vulnerable and they're threatening to take the business. The sales team had not identified that. You need to look at these relationships on an ongoing basis. Second, well we do, but we look at it every three to four years. Three to four years, most industries are far more dynamic than that. You have lots of things going on and they're changing constantly. You need that feedback. When you do surveys with CEOs, they say the most valuable information to them are information about customer relationships. However, they also rank it near the bottom in terms of quality of the information they get. That's why this is so important. Thank you.